Hi, I am Guy van Schandeveen. I'm the clinical pharmacist at the Children's Hospital. And today I will talk about cystic fibrosis and the use of mucolytics and antibiotics in cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis is characterized by the secretion of thick viscous mucus. Expectoration, coughing up sticky mucus, is difficult. Moreover, the production of viscous mucus often leads to respiratory infections, for example, bacterial infections. Therefore, evacuating the thick mucus is an important intervention. Airway clearance can be autogenic or physiotherapy assisted. Inhaled medications such as hypertonic saline or the mucolytic DNAs are used to thin up and fluidify the mucus, therefore enhancing its clearance. This aerosol therapy may be combined with an antibiotic treatment in case of infections. Sometimes a bronchodilator needs to be administered prior to these mucus thinning agents and or antibiotics. Uh, we now put a gel on a tray and this gel will represent, will simulate viscous mucus. This viscous mucus is difficult to clear. Then further on we will see what is the effect of a mucolytic of a product that will simulate a, a mucus a fluidifier. So as you see this gel is very sticky and now I will add a mucus thinning solution simulating a mucolytic. We have to give it some time to act. And as you can see, the viscosity will gradually decrease, fluidity will increase. This means a mass with that kind of fluidity, viscosity, will be easier to clear, to evacuate. As you can see, viscosity is still decreasing. Fluidity is still increasing. If you look the other side, the gel remains as it was, as there was no mucolytic, no simulant added. Here it has become quite fluid. I will now put on the tray a colored gel, colored because we want to simulate a viscous mucus that is infected. So the brown color is to simulate bacterial infection and we now put it on the plate. So as you can see, very sticky, difficult to clear. So now I will put on the thinning solution, which will simulate the mucolytic. We give it some time to act and as we previously saw on the first plate we notice a gradually in increase of fluidity, decrease of viscosity. So this means the mucus will be easier to clear. As we have simulated an infection. We will now put
put on this red color simulating the antibiotic and what we can see right now is that if we first use the mucolytic the thinning solution well we can clearly see that the antibiotic the red color can penetrate easily into the gel so what happens if you forget your anti if you forget your mucolytic and only apply the antibiotic well that's what we see over here so what we see over here is we have forgotten the thinning solution so this means this mass is still very viscous very sticky difficult to clear the antibiotic doesn't penetrate easily into the mucus and efficiency is expected to be lower within the mucus what happens if you have forgotten the antibiotic but you applied you used the mucolytic detinning solution well then we're in this situation the mass has become quite fluid easier to drain easier to clear but the bacteria are still there and of course if you don't use an antibiotic well the uh, the, uh, and the, the bacteria will remain unattacked if of course you forget both you forget and the antibiotic and the thinning solution we're in the first situation of infected mucus and sticky mucus so still the infection will remain and it will be difficult to clear to conclude it is important not to forget the medication to use the medication correctly and to respect the right order of administration this means first the thinning solution give it some time to act then expectoration and finally the antibiotic thank you for your attention see you next time